Isaiah 35.10 says, No lion will be there, nor will any vicious beast go up on it. These will not be found there, but the redeemed will walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord will return, and come with joyful sounding to Zion. With everlasting joy upon their heads, they will find gladness and joy, and sorrow and singing will flee away. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Isaiah chapter 35 and 36, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, these two chapters present an interesting contrast. Chapter 35 is clear that God is going to produce a permanent nation for Israel and protect it from all strife and war, while chapter 36 presents the time that Assyria attacked Judah and threatened to conquer the entire country. You can find a more complete story in 2 Kings chapters 18 and 19. I encourage you to read that. Well, it seems that when we experience some of the incredible promises of God or we're on a mountaintop experience with them, the next thing that happens is something goes wrong. Suddenly bad things seem to happen all around us and we don't know what has occurred. Well, mountaintop experiences with God are wonderful things. We have a sense of elation, empowerment, and satisfaction. We feel that we can do almost anything. The problem comes along when we get a good dose of reality. The world is not such a wonderful place. The world is full of stress, and the world can be very hostile to us. So how is it that we can overcome our sense of depression after having such a glorious high? Well, I think that the answer really lies in how we view ourselves and our relationship to God. When things are going well, we tend to trust God less and ourselves more. And this happened in Israel as well as here in the church today. Some of the most intense church growth occurs in countries where the persecution is the highest. Here in the U.S., we tend to take everything for granted and only become alarmed or concerned about our relationship with God when we experience some kind of negativity. Well, God uses both the good and bad times to cause us to grow. In the good times, we should realize that it is a blessing from God and nothing that we did. In the bad times, we should recognize that we probably need to repent and trust God more. In both cases, our focus should be on God and not on ourselves or our experiences.